Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to one of the most interesting videos I've ever had to make. We're gonna be talking all about the possible FNAF collaborations going on with Fall Guys, with Fortnite, uh, and yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, there's no Dead by Daylight news. We're still holding on, though, Springtrap and Dead by Daylight, but since everyone has been talking about it, I did want to make a video talking about Fortnite maybe collabing with FNAF and Scott to bring Freddy or Foxy or some other characters like Springtrap into the game. Keep in mind, I am biased in this video because I, you know, don't get mad. I personally do enjoy Fortnite. I don't think it's a bad game. I think the community not the best, but hey, that's the same thing with the FNAF community. I'm gonna be going through all the evidence we have so far about this possible FNAF and Fortnite collaboration, as well as some info from Darko and Scott. So let's not waste any more time. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new and smash the like button, please. It really does help me out quite a lot. So quickly, I wanna talk about Fall Guys because I know a lot of people are here for Fortnite, but I wanna quickly address What's going on with Fall Guys, okay? So last month, on January the 18th, Fall Guys tweeted out what games do ye really want to see us collab with at them. Let's see who says hello. Quickly going through it, Daco says FNAF DM me. Fall Guys replies, do you got the hookup, Daco? Yes, I can try my best to get this to happen. Fall Guys DMing you. Five nights at Fall Guys, let's go! And basically everyone was freaking out because, you know, Fall Guys was pretty popular back last year. Personally, I don't have anything against the game. I would love to see FNAF get in involved with other, you know, game franchises. And when you think about it, the whole point of collabing with a different game is to bring attention to both parties. Really, it's a win-win in both scenarios. I know some people are like, oh, Fall Guys and Fortnite, they're, they're cringe, they're gonna ruin the FNAF community. Personally, I see no evidence to back that up. It's fine if you don't like a game, but going so far as to say, I don't want this to happen, if they do it, I'm going to, you know, do something very bad just because I don't like this game because I think it's cringe I think it's a bad game is completely ridiculous Fortnite is still after like four years arguably one of the biggest games still on the planet same thing with fall guys you know it's fell off a little fall fell off a little bit uh since last year but there's still quite a big fan base around it anyway sorry I got off track there but yeah that's basically where things have been up until earlier today where Darko tweeted out I meant to say FNAF X Fall Guys is not currently happening Scott said no for now what's up I'm editing afterwards and I completely forgot to talk about the rest of his tweet so I'll talk about it right now he says I don't know anything about a Fortnite collab and I haven't asked Scott and I'm not planning to either FNAF X Fortnite would be really cool though I'm like 30% convinced. Also, saying Fortnite is cringe or FNAF is cringe and that's your reasoning why there shouldn't be a collab is disheartening to see. Let people enjoy things and learn to be kinder to people. So yeah, Scott um, didn't say anything about Fortnite, Darko didn't even ask, which I'm completely fine with. Uh, I think the reason why he didn't ask is because he didn't start up this whole, you know, FNAF x Fortnite thing, but he did start the whole collab, possible collab with Fall Guys because he, you know, replied to them. I'm personally really fine with Darko not asking Scott. I feel like it would probably be better this way. Plus, it is up to Scott. It's not up to the community. It's not up to Darko. It's not up to me. You know, it's up to nobody except for Scott and Epic Games. So yeah, uh, that's the rest of his tweet. Moving on with the rest of the video. Smash like and subscribe if you haven't already. What are you doing? So there you have it uh, from Scott himself being passed on by Darko the Messenger. Five Nights at Fall Guys unfortunately isn't happening for now, he said. Now, of course, we shouldn't get too hyped up because if Scott said no now, you know, he may not want to change his mind in the future. We can hope, but it seems like he's pretty hard set on on a no. So now let's talk about Fortnite because we have a lot of evidence to support a possible collaboration between these two games. King Carter summed it up pretty well on his Twitter page. Of course, it's King Carter. Link down below. Go check him out. As well as some other evidence that I have. He says some running slash footstep audio files were added to Fortnite's data recently and it is reminiscent of the running sound effects used in FNAF 1 like Foxy's. I'll play it right now. I've heard it. Um, it's pretty close. Definitely not exact. It definitely does sound 
something like what you'd expect them to sound like, but again, I, who knows at this point? Fortnite has so many different skins and collaborations going on right now, it's hard to tell. But something that does back it up is that the audio files were assigned to a codename being French Fry. Now, if you didn't know, Fortnite's codenames were often direct hints at character names via their acronyms. Wasabi was Wolverines, Torbus was Ninja, Tyler Fortnite Blevins. So French Fry, FF. Freddy Fazbear, Foxy the Fox, that's what some people are thinking right now. A Reddit user, you slash the squatting dog, received a package from Epic Games in December, giving giving additional hints at upcoming skins for the Zero Point event. Quick backstory, if you don't know, again, I do play Fortnite, so I know that some of this stuff. The current season of Fortnite is all about, you know, different hunters, they call them, across the, the multiverse, really. That's why you're seeing so many collaborations like the T-800 and Sarah Connors from The Terminator, The Mandalorian from um, well, The Mandalorian. They brought in The Predator, some people from The Walking Dead. And to be fair, it is a little bit of a stretch, but you do technically get hunted by the FNAF animatronics, so they do fit the bill right there. Though, something I see happening is they're not going to be part of the Zero Point event, but probably more the Gaming Legends skins. So I think instead of being about the Zero Point event, they'll just be added in kind of like what Master Chief did, because he's part of the Game and Legends event. Anyways, getting back on track, these hints are deliberately very subtle. For example, the hint for the Mandalorian was a plastic cup. Referencing Baby Yoda drinking from a cup, very subtle. One of these hints, which is still unsolved, is a bag of gold-colored tokens, very much re resembling those that would be found at a pizzeria or an arcade. Now, something hilarious is that Ali A, the king of Fortnite, bah, bah, da, 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 he uploaded a video, uh, and it's called New FNAF and Fortnite? Five Nights at Freddy IES. Oh, come on, Ali A. Skin, sorry, this this just hyped me up so much. It's so funny to see Ali A talk about FNAF and Fortnite. Um, but he had this to say, which I thought was interesting. What if the tokens could be Faz tokens from Five Nights at Freddy's, indicating that one of the teasers that I was sent, the tokens are tied to Five Nights at Freddy's. If we take a look at these tokens, they are gold. Uh, they are tokens. I, I mean, this could be a direct correlation with this teaser and further backing up the idea of Five Nights at Freddy's in Fortnite. So as you can see, he also received the gold coins and he pointed out that they are indeed gold and they are indeed tokens. So really, that's kind of where the connections end for those tokens. I mean, they could just be like golden doubloons for a pirate or something. Uh, but I think it's more exciting if we count them as Faz tokens. Now, something else that I remember happening is that on August 8th, 2020, the Fortnite item shop uh, included the Cuddle Team Leader, which is a bear mascot, and also the Pizza Party Emote, where you open up a box of pizza and you take a nice bite. Cuddle Team Leader, Bear, Freddy Fazbear, Pizza, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, you know, it, it can't be a coincidence, come on. So that's everything that Kane has over on Twitter, again, link down below, thanks Kane for collecting all this info. I have a few more, however. For example, almost a year ago, on March 31st, 2020, a Fortnite Leaks Twitter account tweeted out the brand new cosmetics added in at the update at that time. It had Party Patrol, Crackle Team, Special Delivery, Pastel Patrol, Choco, uh, Revenge Redux, Ready Aim Fire, and the FNAF AR Twitter account, the official one, replied saying, did someone say special delivery? Bruh, why are they commenting on a Fortnite Leaks Twitter account? To be fair, it is a little bit bold to assume that they know something, like why would Illumix of all people know about this collaboration? But then again, at the same time, why would they comment this in the first place? on a Fortnite Leaks Twitter account. It's possible that they just, you know, Twitter searched special delivery to see if anyone was talking about the the game, and they saw this, and they thought, this could be funny. I don't know, it's interesting. Now, something that I don't see many people bringing up is that there was a lake area in the game in between Dirty Docks and Retail Row. And supposedly, I don't know if it's in the game yet, because I haven't checked it out, but supposedly, there's gonna be a rift there soon. Now, if this whole collaboration is part of the zero point event. If you don't know, the rifts crack open the portals and characters come through there. That was a terrible explanation. But basically, all the hunters come out of those portals and that's when they become playable. You can unlock them and all that good stuff. Now, this is 100% a stretch, but there is a lake in Fortnite. Old man, I mean, there is a lake in FNAF. Old Man Consequences Lake. 
um, in UCN and in FNAF World. So again, it's a pretty big stretch, but it is a little bit interesting, okay? Again, it's fun to speculate here. I know some people are upset about this whole idea, but come on, it's fun. And I'm pretty sure that's everything. Again, good on you if you don't want FNAF to do a collaboration with Fortnite. Good on you if you don't like Fall Guys or Fortnite. This is all for fun. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're doing like a Matrix uh, collaboration in Fortnite. Again, I don't know if that's confirmed. I just heard that. And The Matrix does have a fourth movie coming out later, later this year, I think. So does FNAF. It has a game coming out. Not a movie, though. That would be cool, though. So... You know, this whole collaboration could be to hype up Security Breach. There's no FF characters in Security Breach as far as I'm aware. Maybe we just haven't learned about them yet. But to be fair, it's a good idea to get your characters into the most popular game on the planet right now, arguably. To promote your upcoming game, which releases in a couple months. That's not a bad idea. It is weird timing though. You'd think that they would wait to do this around Halloween time, which... Who knows, maybe could be the case. But if they're adding in all the files into the game right now, it would be weird to wait until October, which is like, what, eight months away to do all this stuff? I don't know. Again, it's all for fun. I personally would love to see FNAF collab with any game. Doesn't have to be Fall Guys. Doesn't have to be Fortnite. Again, I would love Dead by Daylight. A lot of people have been pushing to get Springtrap into Dead by Daylight. And really, I just want to see, you know, FNAF keep growing. Because if it's big enough to get into Fortnite, the most popular game on the planet for the past like four years, think about it. Think about it. The series has come a long way. Sure, we've had little cameos in other games about Chica, you know, about the Celebrate poster, but it would be cool to see a fully fledged collaboration between Scott and another game. I think that's great. I think that's great. I would, I would love to see it. Doesn't matter what game it is. I just want to see FNAF keep growing and... Hopefully we can see cool stuff like this in the future. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side.